Hey guys, I'm Brian with a... Why is he wearing glasses? Because that's what 40 does. When you're not paying attention, it sneaks up on you and it gives you the old Mo Howard. Not that one. That's the one. So this video isn't so much a satire as a, more of a romantic comedy. Um, I put something together and I want to share it with you because it's your birthday, Shawnee. So I'm lucky that I get to fly the single most sophisticated aircraft that humans have ever assembled. I'm talking about my Grumman. No, the Cirrus. The Cirrus is a, a fascinating plane that does everything I needed to do and more. It comes with so much technology. So I'm probably very similar to a lot of the young and up-and-coming pilots who have experience with computers and tablets and technology. I have the stuff in my plane. But at the same time, I'm also a lot like your grandmother in that I like to fly with paper. So for most of my career, I've been a software engineer. I always wrote code, and I like to write code in my free time to sort of create efficiencies where I think it's lacking. One thing I found inefficient in my life was before a flight, I'd go to my computer, and I'd go to Skyvector or one of these other websites and start looking for information to write down to put on my kneeboard. Um, there wasn't a site out there where I could just go type in my departure and arrival and get everything that I need. So I built one for me, and I put it on the web so I could access it anywhere. And so now, if you go to preflightdata.com, that's a website I wrote, and you can just enter where you're leaving from, where you're going to, and it's going to print out a kneeboard that has most of the information that you probably write down before flight anyway if you do use a kneeboard. Some people don't. So this is the application preflightdata.com. So just enter your departing airport. Um, I'll choose Love Field. And for my arriving airport, I will choose Ardmore. Click Get Flight Data. And you can see all of the relevant information about this flight comes up on the screen. Um, down at the bottom, you've got your METARs and your TAFs. In the middle, you've got your runways, your frequencies, and all the information about uh, your arrival and your departure. So now you want to click Generate Kneeboard. And this is going to generate a PDF file that has all of the information in it. So all you need to do now is print it out. It's going to print landscape, and that should be perfect for being able to fold it in half, and it should fit neatly on a standard kneeboard. It's going to have your runways, your on-course headings, your frequencies, traffic pattern, altitude, field elevation, all that kind of stuff. Two fields, click, go. You don't have to register, give an email, sign up for anything. You don't have to log in. It's probably 10 seconds to get what you need and be out the door. So there's multiple options over here. You can do a round trip, or if you want to just do a single leg, maybe you're ferrying a plane, it'll just do a one-way leg for you. And of course, it includes the METARs for your departure and arrival airport. Also, I have something in beta right now, which is the multi-leg. So if you have multiple airports, you could put them in here, separate them by comma, and print out a kneeboard. I'm still doing some tweaking on this one. It's got a, a ways to go. But it's going to generate a multi-leg and multi-page kneeboard. You can see here. A little more work to do there, but it's coming along nicely. I have the dates at the top of the page where the data is valid. I do my best to keep this up to date. I keep it up to date using an application I wrote that goes out to the FAA website and I can download the current data files and import them into my database and that's the database that runs preflightdata.com. So anyway, um, go test drive the website if it's something that you're interested in. Um, I know a lot of people don't fly with paper so if, if you don't then send the video to your grandfather. He might want to but he probably doesn't use a computer. Um, but anyway, like I said, I built it for myself, and I reiterate that because someone's going to come along and say, oh, I can already get this data from Flight Plan or For Flight, or the Kings make me a custom kneeboard before every flight and mail it to me. That's great. Again, this is just something I built, and because I put it on the web, I decided to share it, so it's free. As long as I'm alive and flying, it's going to be up, and I will never plan on charging for it. So there's a few downsides. One, I'm getting the data from the FAA database, which means this is only U.S. airports. Um, I don't know what it would take to get foreign airports in there. It's not something I've really thought a whole lot about, but so right now it is only U.S. based. Um, it is limited a little bit in that if you're flying from LaGuardia to DFW or these crazy airports that have 100 runways, it's going to get messy and may not render right. This is more or less for the $100 hamburger run, your CDE airport type trips. Um, so it's not going to, you know, if you're a captain of a 777, you're probably not using this anyway. Like I mentioned, I try to keep all the data up to date. The uh, files come out, I think, every 56 days, and I've got a reminder to go use my utility to update the data. Sometimes I do forget. 
If you are using the site and it looks like the data is out of date, I have my email address on the website. Feel free to just shoot me an email and say, hey, update it. Ultimately, I want to make that a scheduled job so I don't have to manually update the data anymore. If there's any bugs that you come across or enhancements you want, like I said, my email address is on there. Feel free to just shoot me an email. I am a one-man show, so changes aren't going to happen real fast, but um, I do try to add things when I've had people request them in the past. So here's a close-up look at what actually gets printed out. Um, there's a spot up here for you to write down your squat code. I write those down. And then if there's ADIS information, you can write the identifier in this space. You've got your frequencies and you got your runways. There's the identifiers and there's the dimensions. So there's your on-course heading, your distance. Here's the number to call for AWOS information. A little bit of space for you to write in. And then down here, I like to write down my in route frequencies, so that's where I put those. And then at the bottom we've got, there's the, the METAR that I pulled up at the time, and it'll have the TAF in there as well, if it's a TAF available. Um, so that's really it. Um, this is, again, something I designed based on all the information that I use when I fly, and I don't have to write it down anymore. I can just type the things in, hit print, and then I'm off and running. But anyway, it's there if you want to use it, and uh, if, if, if it works for you, that's awesome. And if not, I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. So uh, uh, be back to the satire stuff in a couple of weeks here. I'm going to teach you how to do some aerobatics in the series.